Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about cryptocurrency wallets and no, they don't look like regular wallets. So first off, a cryptocurrency wallet is exactly what you would expect. It's a place for you to store your cryptocurrency of choice, whether that be Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ethereum, Ripple, whatever the case may be, you're going to need a wallet to keep it in. Now, the first thing to tackle here is that, yes, you will basically need a different wallet for all of your different cryptocurrencies. That is, you can't just store um, Ethereum alongside your Bitcoin or your Litecoin. You actually have different addresses for all of your different currencies. Now, if you're using an online wallet or exchange all-in-one type system, something like Coinbase, you may be able to have the exchange uh, all of your different cryptocurrencies covered. So, for example, Coinbase, which is what I use, has Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, as well as um, Ethereum all in one place. But each of those currencies still has its own address. So if I want to send or receive Ethereum, for example, which is the currency I deal in most, it has a specific address to the wallet inside of Coinbase. If I wanted to buy Bitcoin or send Bitcoin to my uh, Bitcoin wallet within Coinbase, it would be a completely different address. Address. Now with exchanges, if you are just going to be using those wallets, those are online wallets, and something to be aware of is that when you go into an exchange, you have to provide all of your normal financial information like you would if you were opening up a brand new bank account. And because of that, it is not an anonymous system, which is one of the benefits of cryptocurrencies to a lot of people. And for that, if you want to store something like Ethereum anonymously, you're going to want to start a different kind of wallet altogether. Now, I'm going to stick to the Ethereum example here because that's what I deal in most. Um, I've thought about getting into Ripple or something like that, uh, but right now I'm just going based off of Ethereum. And if you go to my Ether wallet, you can actually start an offline wallet that uh, doesn't require any extra information. It makes it an anonymous thing. So if you are mining, you can have your uh, mining gains deposited into an anonymous wallet. Th then you have a specific key file for uh, that nobody else has access to, and you can store that on something like a flash drive. You can store it on your network attached storage, or you can even print off the paper wallet with the key and a, I believe it even has a QR code with it uh, to store in something like a safe so you don't have to worry about it getting hacked at some point. So to set up an offline Ethereum wallet using my Ether wallet, all you have to do is go to that website and I'll link that down below along with a couple other resources. So once you're at my Ether wallet, all you have to do is type in a new password of your choosing uh, featured predominantly on the front page or by clicking the new wallet button in the uh, toolbar at the top of the website and then all you have to do is put in that password click create new wallet and then follow the prompts download the key file you're going to want to save your address so that you can send currency to that uh, wallet specifically in this case ethereum but it works in a similar way with other currencies as well and then there's also a private key with my ether wallet that will allow you to unlock the wallet so you can send ethereum other places for example if you want to cash out you'll probably be sending your ethereum from that wallet to your coinbase wallet which will have its own unique address at which point then you can sell the ethereum and actually cash out and get real money for it and the nice thing about this particular type of wallet as well as other offline style wallets is you can actually print off a page uh, that has all of the information you'll need and then you can actually delete uh, pretty much everything and just have a paper wallet there that you can store in a physical location. Something like maybe if you have a safe or even a safe deposit box at a bank that if you know you're not gonna need some of that information and you don't wanna risk it being on something like a flash drive where it could be stolen over the internet, then you can actually print a physical copy and store it somewhere where you know it'll be safe. So those are the basics for cryptocurrency wallets, at least the Ethereum wallets, and uh, looks like most other cryptocurrencies work in a very similar manner as the Ethereum currency does. So like I said, I'll leave some resources down below and some links for you to check out. Most of them are gonna be geared towards Ethereum because that's what I'm familiar with. But if you are into other cryptocurrencies, then you may just need to uh, do some Google searches and look around the forums. Reddit would probably be a good place to look for more information on cryptocurrency wallets. And of course, I would like to ask those of you that are familiar with different wallets, especially non-Ethereum wallets, uh, leave some links down below for other people to stumble across uh, that may be looking for some of those resources. So if you know of a good resource, leave that link 
link down below in the comments. And as always, guys, if you like this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.